So when we first moved into our new house, I saw the garage as an opportunity to be an open space, a venue of some sort, a collaborative collective studio, entertainment facility. All I knew was I didn't want my garage to just be a place where to store stuff. I wanted to be more. So that's when I got my engineering software and just started going in and designing. And this whole time I'm designing, I'm just thinking of how can I make this a functional spot where eventually we could have guests and entertain in a very controlled environment. And that's when the concept of turning the garage into a stand-up comedy venue slash studio for healthy junk food began. So the first early pictures, look at them. We got some nice stuff in here. It really is. But I really wanted to go the arcade route. So arcade, we had some fun in the garage in the beginning. I remember playing rock band drums. I had some friends over. Raquel loved the drum. And then I just started putting a lot of this stuff on the Facebook marketplace. Got rid of these couches. And then here's a bunch of pictures of inspiration that I got for how I want the garage to look. So I definitely couldn't do this on my own. So I hired Central Florida Home Renovations to come in and help. And I had just met these guys for the first time and I just took a leap of faith. And I gotta tell you, the work that these guys did was the most incredible thing I've ever got to experience over the course of the next six months ahead of us. So I just wanna give a big shout out to Danny and Marco. You guys killed it. Your whole team killed it. I couldn't be happier. I'll be at all the greatest clients and reviews on your Facebook page. Guys, show them some love. Even if you're not from Florida, go like the page and support these guys killed it, did a fantastic job. So we begin basically um, taking my design and just bringing it to life. So boom. What are all these wood pieces that were in here? So this is gonna be storage for all the pantry stuff and HCS stuff. This is going to be a way to leave. This is where we're gonna store Christmas decorations. You wanna access all the guts of the entire thing. You just go back here and you can access all the HDMI. And then I designed this couch. I thought this was a really good idea. I haven't, I haven't actually made this couch, I just designed it, but I wanted it to be so you can sit on both sides. That way you can see the stage if you want, you can see the TVs. And then we are even gonna go as far as to make like a custom arcade top. And so this is kind of like the first steps on how we we're gonna make this custom arcade. Julie's like, oh, well we gotta do something with the fridge. So then that's when I designed the fridge to sit into like its own little cavity. Once the frame's up, we're like, okay, this is the perfect time to like do a TikTok. So we had to think months in advance about doing this TikTok where it would show it kind of the skeleton of the whole garage and then BAM! Oh, shouldn't give you that yet. We're, we're, we're jumping ahead. Let's keep it going at a slower pace here. So more time lapses going up. I'm learning a lot about construction, drywall. It's really amazing how quick they get all that drywall up. Hey! Hey guys! Da, 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 da. Everything is really coming together. Like this whole skeleton, this is when things really start to look real. We're really going in the right direction here. So this part was a lot of work, the accent wall. As you can see where the TVs are going and then above and below are these massive storage containers. So I wanted that wall to kind of match the floor. I wanted it all kind of seamlessly be one thing. So it's slowly coming together. Then we're thinking about like LED lights. How do we illuminate this stuff? At this point, things are just starting to look extremely awesome. This is probably my favorite part. Seeing it all come together, like this, incredible. Did some karaoke nights before it was even close to being done. I want to be a part of it. New York, New York. We're like, oh my gosh, we gotta hang out in here. This is gonna be so much fun. Here's the birth of it. Dude. You guys did a great job. And then the curtain arrives. And there you have it guys, eight months later. And we're finished. So now, we need to give you a full tour. Up here it is. Everything's motion sense, by the way. So the minute I step here, it turns on. So here's the stage light. You can just move it up just a little bit and you can get it really bright or we can have it at like a comfortable level. Here's the stage. This is the wall. This was an idea where someone could come out of the stage. So this thing actually slides open and you can be like, what the? This curtain moves. It's on a track that's all smart and through an app. And I can just say Alexa, like, you know, whoop, uh-oh, sorry. And then she'll do it for me. This is our fridge. It's built right into this area with the ventilation behind. And then above is where I keep batteries and other knickknacks that I need. In here is just more gaming stuff. 
some little knickknacks. They got a side duck with a succulent in, it, in the head. This I'm not done with yet. I was going to build a few more city Lego skylines. But the coolest part about this, Julia's little touch, is that this is a Murphy door. And then in here, of course, is where the bikes and some other stuff. Also, you can get out the back. And there's the outside world. So as you can see, this area is behind the garage. Just, we're still in the garage. A lot of smart stuff's plugged in here. And then up here is tons of storage. And you can actually kind of see tons of paint and other things and boxes and all the ducts for the air conditioning because we have central air up here. And then of course you can kind of see the frame of the entire garage game room area. So I'm gonna come back down, but it's still an actual garage. So I can actually open the garage door and, whoops. And as you can see, this is the garage. Pretty cool. And we can close it right here. And boom. So there's definitely some more other accent lighting in here and I had this all programmed on the pad here. So basically, uh, if I hit game mode, this whole place will change. So here's game mode with the lights. There's Julie over there. And then we'll hit stage mode. All the lights dim, lights on her. Check one, two, check. And then there's Julia. We'll go back to normal. Normal's gonna be bright. So I went as far as to design the arcade into this bar area. So it just kind of blends. Like if you think about it, whoop, and it's just, it's booting up right now. All of this kind of just blends. I didn't want to make it colorful. I didn't want to make it kitty looking. And then of course, this is the temperature control. These are some arcade buttons that actually control the lights. Like this will control the stage light. And this, this, this one controls the lights above here. So they're generally always on. And then of course my favorite game of all time, the Mortal Kombat series. I don't do Twitch, but like if I did, boom, I'm totally meant for streaming now. And then of course, this is the brains of the entire system. In there, there's a HDMI matrix, there's receiver, wireless for mics, two Nintendo Switch docks, and then of course the karaoke machine, which is from Japan and can do really funny stuff like boo, cheer, and you can change the pitch of songs, which is really convenient if the song isn't within your, your tune. And then of course, a bunch of Lego things that I like to build. And because like I wanted so much storage, there's still about good four feet behind the TVs. I actually got the, the speakers hidden, so you actually can't see any of the PA speakers. And they sound so good that you can still hear it with that close. This wall, I'm like, what do I hang on this? Like, what am I gonna put on this? So I figured, you know what? Let's just make this a giant mirror to make it really opens up the space so this place looks twice the size with this mirror here it's more knickknacks you got a little typewriter a little uh, that's legos some amiibos some more gamer nerdy stuff and then here the the where the tvs are right so it's set up so two people could be playing like versus on each of these tvs but the craziest thing is we decided hey what if we just want to have like a movie night you know and not games so that's why there's a projector there the perfect amount of space in the ceiling for us to have a projector that comes down and covers both the tvs and then you can just play off of that so i thought this is a good use of the space so for the dartboard there's actually a game that connects right to it so i can just hit on the tablet let's say it's called 301 and then add me this is all Bluetooth connected here so whatever I do on this dartboard it reacts to the game in the tablet boom so that's pretty much it at this point in its stage um, I don't really think that there's too much more we have to do I did have this all hidden nicely in this little sliding door which just kind of blends and this whole thing looks like it'd be perfect for like a bathroom. If you open this, you block. See how it's like perfect. Perfectly blocks behind what's behind here. Mm -hmm. When you close it, it opens an entire secret panic room full of cords. Munchie wants to come in. And there you have it. The garage from start to now. We'll see you again in the garage. If you see the garage in the video, it's this garage.